What is going on guys, Rubio Gaming 17 here, continuing where we left off last time with Resident Evil. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, go ahead and check out the rest of the channel for more content. Alright, with that being said, let's get right into it. I completely forgot what we were doing last time, to be honest with you guys. But um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing doing good, staying healthy. Hopefully enjoying this playthrough here. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and use that. Okay, so we got the serum. I think that's where we ended it off last time. We got the serum for old boy over there. Richard. Do I have any other keys? Is that the only key? That is the only key. Alright. Chemical to use on plants. I still gotta find a use for that. But, um... All right, so what we'll do right now is I believe we will head over to the east or the, yeah, the east side, go to the typewriter over there and give Richard this here. Let me see if I still remember my way around this mansion. Ah, crap. Alright, let's see if we can successfully run past this guy once. There we go. Okay. So I only have one dagger left and I'd like to keep that. The map, the map. Wonder what's at the end of the hallway here. Oh my god, there's people at the window. Uh We'll come back to that. <laughs> Let's go to our pal Richard. Our good old friend Richard, who got bit by a giant snake. Who I am not looking forward to fighting against. this door right here <clears throat> yep yep Richard lies through this door here where's the typewriter first floor so if I go out through here Alright, let's just go get Richard this year, since we're right here. Then we'll go save and explore this side of the world mansion. Hello, Richard. Are you dead? Alright, 
I'm sorry, Richard is dead. <laughs> um. Uh. Ooh, that's bad. That is real bad. I didn't, uh... I didn't realize we were on a time crunch here. Whoops. It's through here. <laughs> hmm. Okay, um, don't, don't tell anyone that I let Richard die. That note to anyone watching out there. If you want to save Richard. Get that serum to him ASAP. Oh look, there's another um Oh We kinda need it. There might be other stuff here we can take. Oh my god, I still can't believe I let Richard die. It's a tragic Oh, that's a nope. Sir, why are you why are you walking so fast? What's in here? Oh. It's a musical number. So we let Richard die. What an unfortunate series of events. Oh my god. I still can't believe we let him die. Oh my god. Why is there a zombie here already? Yeah, we just, uh. Oh crap. I'm sorry, Richard. I feel bad. Should not have taken my time with that. Uh, well, mistakes were made. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Why was there a door opening behind me? Okay, so I have to go down. Just making sure I burn the zombies here. This, I left you some bullets. All right, Barry. Yeah, that's, uh... <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... I don't want to say why Richard dying is bad, but... You will see in maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> if 
for anyone that has played this game already, you probably know why that's not good at all. And I have no way of going back to saving Richard. Uh, what happened to my other mu musical note? Not musical score. There we go. Wait, what? Combine. Yeah. Moonlight Sonata. So we, what we could actually do is go back to that room that had the piano and see what that triggers. I believe it was on the first floor next to the dining room. We still have one key. It, if I remember correctly, there's like two more doors. I can open with that. And... Yeah, we'll save real quick. Let me put these in my... Inventory here. so mad about Richard dying. Uh, and what else did I have? Was that it? Handgun ammo. Can I? Yeah, just carry all of it, man. I don't know what the limit is on that. Probably 999. Sheet music. Well, let's just save. Okay, so what did I do in between getting the serum for Richard and headed back to him? I forget. Oof. It's a big, big oof. There you go. Map. So, go back to the second floor. Actually, I think I can unlock that room right next to me. Okay. I think I remember what to do here. Now my, my run through isn't perfect here, but it is progressing. I don't know why I keep saying that. I feel like there's like limited amount of times I can go through the store or something. Or I eventually get chased by something else. I hope not. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Oops, did not mean to click that. So I forgot what you have to do here. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Red, purple, green. No. So who are the three spirits? I feel like the crows are telling me which ones they are.
Maybe not. <laughs> Can I press all of these? No. What was the first guy that I pressed? This dude. Oh, he's wearing the necklace. The necklace is purple. The headband is green. Anyone have the headband? You have a headband? Yeah, we're in a crown. Okay, now we just need... Wearing a bracelet. It's turned white. Are you wearing a bracelet? Wearing a necklace? Hmm. Okay. What are you wearing, good sir? You're also wearing a crown. What are you wearing? A necklace? Okay, I think I did something wrong. So I don't... I don't think that light's supposed to turn white. Okay, nothing has reset. Right? I forget. Is, was that purple the original color? Ah. Okay, never mind. Okay, let me, because <laughs> I think I messed this up. I forgot what the original colors were. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it was yellow. There's a switch here, press it. All right, buddy turned orange. Bracelet turned orange. Green, and I need someone to turn purple. You turn purple, you turn purple, okay. So it's the first one, the one around the corner, and then that second to last one. It should be it. If I don't, I don't know what happens. Crows attack me, maybe. Okay. And we have our second mask. We have no need for the cemetery right now. So I think we only go out there if we, uh, once we get all four masks, which I think we only have two. I know where one of them is. I 
just forget where the fourth one is. This is the, um... The third one is coming up. Um, but let me go unlock this door up here real quick. Because I think this is the last... Key that the mansion key opens. Yeah. Discard. And I might be able to... I think. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, that music's not creepy at all. I liked it better when there was no music. <laughs> Researcher's will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off and the rest of the letter is legible. All my have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts were delayed. But my efforts only delayed the end of inevitable. I am infected and there is no cure for what will follow. I accept to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What? We'll take the fish hook. Let me see what else is here. Will you take the lure of B? Okay. I think I remember what you're supposed to do here. No, do not press the switch yet. What you want to do is... Combine these two, actually. Because these two specimens were... Yeah, they're swapped. So you see here, all the lures are here. So you have to... Put the corresponding lure. And the bee here. No, no. I keep forgetting. You gotta use it from your inventory. Now you can press the switch. I forget what it does if you. Oh, yeah, that thing comes to life. And probably the quickest way to kill that is to leave the room, come back, aim and shoot. And take that and run, because I think there's more. Ooh, yeah, there's something in there. Hmm. Alright, and there's a room right next to us. There's a large scratch in this wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Oof. I think I know what that... What made that scratch. We'll encounter that later on. Let me see what else is here first. There's nothing in the drawers. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Secret passageway, maybe? Ink ribbons. Hmm. Maybe we should have left some stuff. There's some herbs. We don't need them. We'll take the first aid kit instead. Alright. 
Back to the safe room we go. We got mask two of three. Two of four, sorry. Mask two of four. So this probably means I'm going to see Richard come back to life, right? Alright, yeah, we got two of the five masks. You could take the sheet music back to that one room. I'm trying to remember where it was. But while we think, let's save. know if I can open up that room that Barry was in. Is this the right way? Yeah. Hmm. to go back in here. Barry's dead. Unfortunate, or not Barry, <laughs> Richard. It's all my fault, Richard. Uh, okay. We are missing something okay guys I'll shadow okay I think I remember where the other mask is then hmm I'm trying to think what else I could have missed What else could we have missed?
Did we already... Did we attempt this already? Right took that. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. So I'm pretty sure I remember where the third mask is, and we need one particular item. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Successfully ran past that guy for once. Goodbye, buddy. Yes, we have to go through here. Past the zombies. That are just waiting by the window. Into this lovely room. So we gotta kill that plant. And if I remember correctly, it is the red switch. Wait, no. We have to put this in. Yeah, see how that turns red? That's pretty much the indicator. Red. So I think if it turns green, you just cause it to grow. Uh, but that thing is dead now. And there's our th third mask. I done goofed. I should have taken uh, all the herbs first. Combined them all. And then I would have still had plenty of room for the for the mask. So now I will utilize one. And that should mark this room as complete. Yep. This room is now complete. Alright, so this is the part where we just sprint. Not today, sir. Not today. Wait. Okay, I'm going the right way. Wait. Oh, no. I done goofed. <laughs> I forgot an item. Hello. Crap. Alright, sir. 
Can we successfully run past you for the second time ever? Ooh, let's go. Okay, there is one more key that we need to get, and we can get it now because we found all the musical scores. So what we need to do right now is go ahead and put that down, get the musical sheet, put that down, we don't need it. Put the mask down, we do not need that. Not sure what else we'll need. I don't know if we'll need that lighter, or the kerosene I should say. I will put the kerosene down, take everything else, sorry. Pretty sure. 100% sure. So now we just gotta run back out to the dining room. See, there's nothing stopping me from just killing this guy. And just... Making my life a whole lot easier. No, you... Crap. Thought I had a little bit more time until... Until he lunged. I guess not. But it's out here. Pretty sure we went into that room before, no? So we take this. We need it. And what? <laughs> Am I not in the right room? the room next to this one. Oh god. They're knocking on the door. My palms are sweaty. Okay, found it. I found it. Secret room. See, the first time I I saw Joe playing the piano, I was just like, "Why would you play a piano in?" It's basically an abandoned mansion with filled with zombies. So I'm like, I'm sure the noise will attract them, but whatever. Trevor's diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did how did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it all hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they killed me, Sir Spencer would be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa... I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter. The one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, 
Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be so easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Alright. Take these now. I think we found the guy's lighter. this goes the creepier things get around this mansion there we go that's what we needed and I forget which one was which because I think this picture told us Picture two knights striking each other, the short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight. Okay, so small hand, the hour hand goes into the breastplate. Long sword is pierced the head of the other. Alright, minute hand goes into the head. So now where they're at right now. Another nap. No. Oh crap. Yes, yes. Uh turn the small gear to the right. Okay. I have it backwards. All you really gotta do is just turn the the big gear twice. Oh no, sorry. I clicked the wrong gear. <clears> hmm. <throat> A large gear to the right. You idiot. <laughs> uh. There we go. Now, open sesame. And we got a key. And since we're here, I'll go ahead and save. the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm not looking forward to this. Mainly because Richard's dead. God dang it. See, the entire time I was playing this and never once was I prompted to, to do like any timed events. So that's pretty much why I took my time with Richard's serum. But I guess well, the fact that they told you, hey, the serum is in the West Medical Bay. Do that now. <laughs> so if, you know, if you're playing this, pretty much do whatever you can with a sense of urgency, especially if it displays it like that. Ah, uh, okay. Let's carry on. I think there was one zombie in here. Nope. Just a dead Richard. Ugh. I hope the, the one in here hasn't reanimated. Nope. Okay, good. Good. 
And that key was a one-time use. Help. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I died. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I screwed up. I screwed up. Get the mask. Get the mask. Get the mask. Why didn't you take any herbs? Where is he? It. Sugar honey iced tea. Run. Run. Run, sir. Okay. We live. We live another day. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Poisoned serum. Oh no. I don't have my serum. We're dead. Game over. Rip. That was convenient. Okay. Uh, so yes, Barry did save us. We were poisoned. Basically, that happens the first time around. Um, if you had saved Richard, Richard basically joins you in that fight. I believe only if you play as Jill. I think if you play as Chris, he doesn't intervene whatsoever. But basically, what should have happened is I save Richard Richard then assists me with that fight and I just basically have to run around in circles Richard shoots the snake um, until it basically dies and Since I can't really show you the cutscene myself because I'm I progressed a little too far along Richard does inevitably die as he tries to protect me from being eaten by the snake basically and by the end of it the snake retreats after a while, I get the mask, and um, I also get a shotgun that Richard had, which I believe is stronger than the current shotgun that I have, but since I let Richard die, we can't get that shotgun anymore. I know, tragic. Um, but we will go ahead and save here. Oh, and like you saw, Barry, Barry basically saved me. If I didn't get bitten at all, Barry would not have saved me. I would have just progressed as normal. But I completely forgot about that until it happened. <laughs> and luckily he brought me to the safe room. Where the serum was located. A nice little music in the safe room. But I think that's going to do it for this part. Just wanted to show you guys up until that point. Um, I'm still mad that I let Richard die. <laughs> Wanted that shotgun. But anyways, we now have all four masks. So if you remember from part one, we ventured out into the graveyard under the graveyard and there were these four pillars or whatever they were where you can actually place those masks onto so next time we will go ahead and do that see what happens and progress from there but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this part go ahead and leave a like down below go ahead and comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one as always take care